it going guys welcome back to my channel my name is Broxy HD today we have a 150k squad builder if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and I'm gonna use the same like target that we did in the last squad builder can we hit 50 likes if we can't we'll try again in the next video anyways today we're trying a new formation that I haven't actually used apart from in the draft and we're trying a silver that you guys are gonna go <laughs> maybe not from your head maybe from your pants Anyways, guys, this is the formation we're using. It's a 4 3 3 bracket 5 formation, the one with the centre forward, basically. Haven't used this formation yet in FIFA 16, apart from in the draft, as I said in the start. So I decided, you know, I'm going to build a squad, see if it's any good. And it turns out that it fucking is awesome. So, in goal to start us off, we have Azmir Begovic, everyone's OP goalkeeper. Insane player, six foot seven, really, really good goalkeeper. As always with these goalkeepers, guys, if you have a shit experience with them, it's not because they're shit goalkeepers, it's because goalkeepers in general are just shit on fifa in our two center back positions then guys we have kurt zuma alongside papi misson jilly body i didn't even have to look at his name to know what it is this guy is actually really good six foot four really good defending and just all around really strong center backs both of these guys are insane left back and right back then we have danny carvajal into the team because you guys know how much i like this guy really good attack and fullback and he's also good defensively and then we have ben watch on the left hand side Really solid left back, guys. Really insane stats for a left back. CDM, there we have Maxim Gonalont. He's a fantastic CDM. 850 coins. You can't go wrong there. 83 defending, 83 physical, 67 pace. This is like incredible for a, for a center defensive mid that just does everything, sweeps up, and he can actually go up the field and score goals, which is what I like to see. In the center mid positions, we have Tolisso followed by Isco. Now, Tolisso, his card is just insane. You have Isco on the other side, not no not going to do any defensive work but he's in the team because he has that bit of flair if you wanted to take him out put it in modric put it in a cruise so you can have the little bit more defensive or even someone like uh casemiro will still get full chemistry so if you wanted to go like that you can at center forward and we're not even doing the wingers first because that's where the, it gets really interesting james rodriguez is the best fucking player i've used i've i've been saying that quite a lot hulk quadrado uh yaya Torre, until i used James Rodriguez. Oh my god! Look at these card stats. At center forward, five games, nine goals, and three assists. You cannot ask for any more for a campaign at center forward. He is insane. Then to finish off the team, we have Yevgen Konoplyanka. Absolutely incredible player. A lot of people like this guy this year. And then the big man of this team. You will never use a better silver in this game, in my opinion, than Inaki Williams. My good friend Nidge, if you don't know who he is, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Go and subscribe to him. He told me about this guy, and I was like, you know what? If Nidge says someone is good, he must be fucking good. So I went out and tried him. Five games, four goals from right wing is incredible. Right, I want you to do this as well. If you're on your computer, go on full head. Look at his stats. You will see how mind-blowingly good he is. If you do have another good silver, comment him down in the comment box below because I cannot think of anyone that's better than him. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this, hit me up in the comment section below. And let's go on to the clips. So guys, as we get on to the clips, as usual, let's do a little bit of explaining. Sorry about that. That was my iPod. Anyways, this team is based on the front three solely, and that's pretty much it. Now, the defense is there just to make up the fact that it's 150k like i could have gone up to 200k 250k 300k if i wanted to but i didn't want to i wanted to keep it pretty cheap saying that 150k isn't cheap but you know what i mean i didn't want to go too extravagant now zuma and jilly body let's just start from the shit players shit in the sense that they're not as good as the top three um jilly body and zuma extremely good defensively now Obviously, their card stats, they don't say they're the best defensive players, but with the with the great physical that they have and the great height, they are just really good defensive players. I, I don't know how to say it. What a goal base goal this was, by the way. Anyways, uh, Tremolinas and Carvajal are really good attacking left back and right back, respectively. They are just brilliant. They're really, really good. Begovic, I forgot to mention Begovic. Begovic is one of them goalkeepers that, as uh, we all know with the goalkeepers in FIFA 16, he might make one mistake out of every 50 saves he makes, but other than that, he's pretty solid, you know what I mean? Now, the midfield. Uh, what's his name? Maxim Gonlons is there because he's just a really good CDM. He's not like a Matuidi-type CDM where he's he bombs up the field sometimes. Although he does get up, up the field quite a bit, he's always back there when you need him. And he does a really good job defensively. 
Isco then on the other side of the midfield is there because he has a bit of flair. He can turn something out with nothing if that makes any sense. He can hit a long shot like you seen earlier on in the clips and he can just get goals from anywhere and he can assist really well too. Taliso is there to be that box to box midfielder um, and he does that job extremely well because he, of the uh, stats that he has. He has high 70s, well not high 70s but he has 70s all around which is such a good card for a 77 rated uh, centre mid. That's just incredible. High high too. So he bombs up and down the pitch brilliantly. Now, <laughs> the best bit of this team is the whole top three. Conor Pedenka is the worst out of three. And when I say worst, I mean he's not as good as the best, basically. <laughs> like, really. Uh, Conor Pedenka is so good, but he's not as good as Inaki Williams, who, in my opinion, is the best silver I've used so far. As I said, if you have any other better silvers, comment them down below in the comment box below. But uh, Inaki Williams' strength, power, pace, just everything you need about him. Good shot on him as well. Really freaking good. He's better than other players I've used like Willian and Lucas, in my opinion. I've used quite a few uh, right wings like Quadrado and Hulk and stuff like that. And he, they just don't compare to the price you pay for him. Which is actually quite a bit actually now that I think about it. But he's, he's just so good. How much is guys best player in this squad with a fucking easily. Like country mile. He, he wins it hand down. Best player in this squad. Um, Long shots, pace. Just everything about him is just incredible. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this squad as I shush you. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll see you next time guys. Have a wonderful day. How much of you guys is a sexy man? Goodbye.